Hello, crafty friends. Lorena is here. Thank you so much for joining me today on this Easter Sunday. I'm going to play with uh, some uh, old and kind of new uh, dies today. I'm going to use this uh, stitched rectangle dies that I've got in my stash a while now. And uh, this one as well, I'm not sure where it comes from. It's quite old. <laughs> Um, and this Spellbinders um, die set is called uh, um, Be Bold Bloom, Blooms. It's not recent, but I got it recently, so for me it's new <laughs> and it's lovely. lace dye from uh, heavy white cardstock and then after that I'm going to do the same with um, light blue cardstock the, and then I'm going to layer them one on top of each other so the white one is just to give uh, more um, strength to the dyes that is very intricate Tango die, I'm gonna create a little frame and then with the smaller um, dies, I'm gonna cut in the center of my two lace um, die cuts. So I'm gonna create a window basically, just right in the middle if I can center it correctly, and it's gonna have to be exactly the same for both. Now that they are layered together, I already glued them, I'm gonna um, adhere the, um, my frame just right in, on top. I think I did a good job on uh, centering both uh, cuts, so happy with that. <laughs> and now I'm just gonna apply some glue just at the, at the tip of the, of the borders. So I'm using, again, <laughs> guess what, <laughs> glassy accent, yeah, that's correct. It's just a couple of dots in every single um, end of, uh, well, just a couple of dots here and there. <laughs> and then uh, once I'm happy with the centering, I'm just going to put a bit of pressure uh, just until it dries. Now, I'm thinking uh, about giving a borders, but then I changed my mind and uh, I check, I cut one uh, exactly the same size of the die and it looks better, so I decided to go for it. So now they're all attached together, it's time to build my flower composition. I die cut all the flowers and uh, in different, in, uh, light pastel colors apart at the center of the flower that wants to be more bold so I'm decorating as mustard color yellow this flower is so cute and the, all the greenery they are in very light green as well I want this to be a very delicate card very feminine and look at this little cutie oh my gosh I love them <laughs> so now deciding where to put them so I'm trying to arrange I'm gonna end up using just one of the big flowers and I'm gonna try to put them here and there just to see of course it's gonna change absolutely everything as soon as I, <laughs> I put the glue down but um, 
you know, it's part of the process and it's having fun as well. To decide more or less where things is gonna go I'm just gonna start to glue things down and uh, put some uh, foam tape as well on the back just to put them up on my card Once I'm happy with my floral arrangement, I'm going to start to decide what sentiment I'm going to use. I, I look at my stash, it was something already made, and um, I'm checking what would be a good match for my card. For example, this one, already, I already like it a lot, so I'm gonna put it on this side because probably that's gonna be the winner. <laughs> but I'm gonna try something. Now, this one is cute. I think that black is a bit too much for the card. So in this, in the end, I decided to go for this gold foil strip that say "I adore you." I think it's sweet. <laughs> and I'm just gonna glue everything together. I put the foam. Um, square just on form strip just on the side that is not gonna be on top of the flowers and glue on the other side very simple but I think it's effective <laughs> now I finally purchased the, my some of the alf pearl gold alf pearl and I'm very happy about them <laughs> and now I'm just gonna put some of them in my card glossy accent of course so I'm gonna decide where to put them directly put in the the glue first so gonna be two there one on top of a small one on top of my flower and then the other two somewhere around the bottom area um, I think I'm just gonna put it close to the sentiment there and that's it I think they're enough don't want to go don't want to overload because it's very easy to do that and uh, my card is done <laughs> thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoy if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you want to see some more all right thank you again have a lovely sunday easter i hope you enjoy yourself bye see you soon